These are my Alpine Stars warm weather gloves. It is a beautiful, wonderful March day. Still in the 40s, so that's fine. I don't mind a 40 degree day. Now for you who are not here in the United States, that's Fahrenheit. A 40 degree day in Celsius I don't think would be very much fun. I love this little machine. You know what? This is a good time to do a quick review of this machine. I have had it for five years. Plus, it is a little modified. This is the Honda PCX 150. I've had it since August of 2015. The greatest thing about this scooter is it's paid off. I own it entirely. <laughs> Always good to own a vehicle entirely and not have any money owed on it. There are a few caveats with this small machine. It is very well suited and very well fit for this kind of driving. It is very well fit for any kind of driving where you have to do a lot of stop and go. Right now, I'm not having to worry about any kind of shifting because this is a brake. This is, on this side, this is not a, this is not a clutch lever, this is a brake. Again, my, my bike's a little modified. I have over 19,000 miles, right at the time of this recording, 19,097 miles, which is great. I have had this particular machine to Massachusetts three times and back. The one time back, it was in the uh, rear of a moving van, like that. <laughs> that was spring of 2019. It didn't go on any long trips last year other than to go to Dubois, which was interesting. I have had some issues with the brake having some lockups. I had a caliper issue, had to replace that. That, I think, was just due to grime and dirt and other fun things on the road. The things I like about the PCX, it runs like the day that I got it. And one thing I have not done, one thing I haven't really seen the need to do, I haven't done the valve clearances because it hasn't needed it. Honda recommends, and this is a caveat, Honda recommends that you do not do as I did. Honda recommends that you check the valve clearances every 6,000 miles on this particular machine. That's a Honda recommendation, and that's fine. They're welcome to recommend it. At this point, there's no warranty that I'm voiding by not going with that, but it hasn't needed. It doesn't backfire. It doesn't act like it is out of timing at all with the valves. Uh, it's one of those kind of things that I look at. If it ain't broken, don't, don't fix it. Now, I do plan to do a valve check this summer at some point, simply because it's about 20,000 miles that I would say that it should be done. In my experience, I still may not do it. <laughs> it all depends. <laughs> but there's no indication that the, that the valves need to be adjusted from the way the bike behaves. Check that with other folks, including trained Honda technicians, and they pretty much agree with me that it's not necessary. Why are people turning... Oh boy, making left turns from the go-ahead straight lane. Okay. So, a few things with this bike that I had to modify to make it livable. The seat was horrible initially. Well, all I did was remove the rump hump and put a uh, cheeky seats cover on top, and it's fine. I did modify the brakes a little bit. I've added a metal brake hose. Made a huge difference in the braking. I've changed the rear brakes to add a stronger solid brake actuator arm. I've kept up with other maintenance. Other than the valve clearances, which I haven't done, as I said, I have kept up with every other bit of maintenance. I do the oil changes every 2,000 miles or so, or once a year, whichever comes first. I make sure that the brake fluid gets changed. Not once a year, really, because it gets dark, so I change it. And I basically just ride it. I'll return to the review here when I get back from inside the store. Ah, oh, cool. Somebody's got a metro. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? You look different. <laughs> I'm different. That's one of the greatest kids. He's been working here for years. He always cheers me up. Why, thank you. I'm feeling a little bored. <laughs> I can joust with people. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. I was not looking in the right place. Quarter inch down. Perfect. I found what I was looking for. Good deal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, buddy. hey, how you doing, bro? Hello. Hello. I like the helmet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I figure if it makes somebody smile, it's worth it. Hello, how are you today? Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> it gets a lot of laughs. <laughs> I just cut, cut him in half so that I can carry him on my bike. I don't want any jousting going down the road. I get a lot of laughs, and that's the whole point. I'm actually on YouTube. No, that's what this guy's all about. All right, I'll put you on. By all means. Anyway. Okay, now comes the fun part. Getting this secured in here. All right, got my stuff done at Home Depot. I have my piece of wood on the back there. My other stuff is in the in the trunk underneath. I enjoyed all the reactions from people at Home Depot. I'm going to go under a covered bridge. I'm an orange monster, not a troll, but I'll still go under the covered bridge. I'll actually through it, whatever. Yeah, hey, hey, for covered bridges. It's soon time for fishing season to open. What's going on? Hey, down to Lancaster Honda to pick up some oil. I have to do an oil change on this bad boy. Wave to the people on the highway. Hey, well, that's nice and yellow. Hey, bro. the new Rebel 1100. Ooh, I like that a lot. Greetings, Terry. Hi, puppy. Yeah. Oh, okay, I know. I'm wearing helmet. Hello. You can smash my hand. Hello, girl. Hello. I know, I know, I know. Disturbing. Hello. If I could get two drain washers as well. I have a piece of metal in my neck and I discovered how uncomfortable that was back in January when it was really cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I just started riding last week again. Yep. I rode a little bit, but now I do have a question for you. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to sit on that Rebel 1100 and have a picture taken. Oh, I can get over it. This is not bad. Thank you. No Let's see how that turned out. Unfortunately, I'm not in the market for a bike, but the the price isn't bad for a new here's the thing people dropping 1500 bills on a harley when this is going to last longer it's going to have more torque more horsepower run through the different modes oh, power, that's... traction control braking so sport all the power and minimal traction control intermediate brake and you can cycle through i don't the... see a I, I don't see a clutch pedal that's it doesn't have clutch pedal. This is it's a dct yeah that's i was going to say i'm thinking which is actually perfect for me because I'm I'm already shiftless. There's no push button start like yours. You put the clutch down to start, and then you hit D for drive, and then you can set between A for automatic. It will always start in automatic. Yeah. M for manual. You push that for manual, and up and down shift. This is your paddles. Yep. And then you can cycle through your power mode. So sport standard. Um, let's see if I'm wrong. Range. Which but it's it's, no it's still a a gear. Yes. It's uh, a real transmission. D transmission. D stands for dual clutch transmission. So there's two yep. clutches. And then one, like when you start out rolling down the road, the best way, to, from my mind, to understand is it's holding first gear. You're driving. It's ready. For yep. Second. yep. It's all computer controlled. Yep. Oh, it actually uses oil pressure as well. Oh, really? It's a bunch of it. It's the first we'll one. just call it magic. You know, magic. Voodoo. Sure. And then when it knows, it just flips over and then it's in third gear next. The only thing that's missing from this, the only thing that makes me pause, it doesn't have a shaft drive. True. And that's what they should have done. They should have made it a shaft drive. But, again, that would have driven the price up by another few thousand dollars. And it would have sucked away some horsepower from the rear wheel because chain is the quickest. Hey, yeah, there's that, but I still, my, my first real motorcycle, 
was a VF 750S from 1983. It was a great, great bike for that reason that it had the shaft drive. Chain, of course, is just another maintenance item, and that's okay. You know, you just keep it lubed and. Yeah, it's under it. You don't have to really bother with anything. I'm sure I can. I can already see the mounting points for side bags. Yep. Side I can already see the mounting points for a for a top box. It doesn't have a box. But Honda's two accessories are either a passenger seat or a steel rack with like four pieces that run across, so you can run bungee cords. Really. Well, that's cool. I really like this. I like the way it looks. I, 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 it, it's, it's the, I'm going to sit on it again, but I can get my leg over it without too much trouble. I'm not dragging the leg. I'm flat-footed, which is where I want to be, and, and, and uh, bent knee, so I've got a lot of control. It feels like it's got a good center of gravity. Center of gravity is low, which is nice. It's another thing I like, the tank's not way out here. I love the big brake disc. I love that it's a single brake disc rather than double. Double brake disc is too much of a pain when you're trying to get the wheels off and on. It's huge! It's gigantic! Um, I love the big disc. That's great. Oh, I could fit a mouse in there. That's that's what about a liter storage? It's not too bad. I, I love the shocks. That the fact that they're they're stock with adjustability. And I see it's got the adjustable ring there for the preload. I love that it's an inline rather than a V. It's a parallel twin. The thing is, the, the other thing that I like about this is that it looks ter very easily wrenchable. ABS front and rear. <laughs> I don't want to take up any more of you guys' time because I'm not buying today. <laughs> okay, no. So that Rebel 1100 is very, very nice. I like it a lot. But as soon as I got out of the dealership and got onto this, I realized that this machine does everything that I want and everything that I need. There are some things that would be easier with a bigger bike. Oh, there are some things that would be so much easier with a bigger bike. Hi, guys! <laughs> so many things that would be easier with a bigger bike. And it's a DCT, which is very nice. I would prefer that transmission at this point in my life. There are modifications, again, that I've done to this bike to get it to that point. But I put all that money into this bike. This bike cost me three grand out the door, which, that's just fantastic. It gets me everywhere I need to go. It's basically a very low speed step through motorcycle. Yeah, it's sold as a scooter, but it's a step through motorcycle. It has storage and so on, but boy, I can't see the need to go up to an 1100 right now. Granted, I, if I had the money, I would probably jump on it, literally and figuratively. I would have to take out a loan, and I don't want to do that. So again, on the PCX, five year review, what's it doing? This machine does everything that I need as a street bike.